This is part three and part four of what is to come, recorded on March the 3rd and March the 4th, 2015. Jesus began, I've been listening to your heart, and you're dealing with many forms of demons posing as ETs, and Claire, I must tell you to stand convinced, not one of them is good. They are all fallen angels working against me and humanity. Some put up the facade of being good, but don't be fooled. Their agendas are just as wicked. They just manage to get more deeply entrenched because they are disarming. They are far more dangerous than the greys. Oh, how I hate this subject. Nonetheless, I do not want you to remain ignorant. He really does hate this subject, guys. When I start poking around on the internet wanting to learn more about these despicable creatures, he is so grieved and I have to I have to stop whatever I'm doing because it's just disgusting to him. He continued, every single one of them are extremely evil. There's not one good thing about them, except I can use them to make my people more holy and stronger. They actually are my vassals, thinking they are doing things independently. They are carrying out what has been planned from the beginning of time. I had to look up vassal, guys. A person or country in subordinate position to another. A much stronger nation can also turn a weaker one into a vassal state. In other words, the Lord's using them for their for his own purposes. They come in different shapes and sizes, as well as ships that are different from one another. You were thinking the ship that was sighted over Phoenix in Arizona came from Nibiru to look around on Earth. That's not so. That was a government exercise. That's why the military didn't get involved, even though there was so much time for them to act. Are you with me, my love? Lord, I'm wobbly, feeling insecure about discernment. Is it you, Lord? I told Ezekiel, and he said that I needed to push through, that the Lord was talking with me. Well, he's right. You need to push through. When you're finished and go back to read this, it will make more sense to you. I love you, and I'm sorry this is so hard. A part of it is your own overstimulated emotions. He continued, I wanted to talk to you this way for a long time. I said, but? You weren't ready, and I knew it would be difficult to convince you it is me. But I have taken you to task because I need you. I could have chosen someone else you know. Oh, Lord, yes, I know very, very well, and I don't know what to say except I'm a piece of work. Okay, then, back to work. (laughs) The people are still misinformed about what they're dealing with. They... The demons disguised as ETs are very crafty and able to take advantage of people's weaknesses. They blithely invite them in, not realizing that they are a force to be reckoned with, and putting a few grays down to impress them is nothing, except the opportunity to pull the wool over their eyes and convince them that they are benign after all. Lord, I'm tired. Can I rest my eyes? (laughs) Claire, let's proceed. Okay. Part of this tired is unbelief and laziness. Ouch. Well, at least you are persevering. I'll give you credit for that. You know I can't take credit for what you do, beloved. You're a smart one, he chided. But actually, it's your love for me and obedience that's keeping you here. Ah, I'm only speaking the truth, so let's move on now together, okay? I'm all yours, Lord. Much of the mass confusion that is going to fall on the earth will be the newness of all these different breeds of clones. The confusion they sow by being many and varied, they will take advantage of. And yes, they do have the capability of destroying planet earth. But remember, they are dogs on a chain, and permission will not be granted. I love the earth, Claire. She's beautiful, a masterpiece, and I will not allow her to be destroyed. But what is that about a new heaven and a new earth? I will make them new, and what was once will no longer exist or be remembered. 
He did say, It will change instantaneously according to the vision in my heart, and all men shall see the glory of the Lord. What was will be no more. All things will be made new. And what about the sea creatures? There will be lakes everywhere. No more need for violence. No more violence in the atmosphere because there's no more rebellion of man. Everything will be a pristine garden of Eden. Men will mine the earth, but not in a destructive way. On the earth, every metal and substance necessary will be available to man. All hearts and all projects will be directed to glorifying me. Okay, that's the end of three. It was very short. I'm going to go into four now. What is to come for March 4th, 2015? Uh, things were a little bit sketchy this evening. <laughs> uh, a little staticky. And it's a full moon. So I said, Lord, it's a full moon, and I feel a lot of resistance and static. It took me longer than usual to be in the right place to receive your words in faith tonight. You're going to have to listen more carefully, he said. I'm sorry. Well, now that I have your attention, let's go on, shall we? Oh, Jesus, thank you so much for that confirmation on Yellowstone. Wow, thank you. And I think I might have mentioned that in the last video, guys, that uh, it was posted. Someone, a good friend of ours, had a dream about Yellowstone. And in that dream, there were rivulets of lava, streams of lava flowing out of Yellowstone. It didn't blow up the way it was supposed to because the Lord intervened. You're going to come to believe me more and more as these months go by. You will be shocked by how clearly you have been hearing me but didn't realize it. A little more repentance goes a long way, but mostly my love, more confidence in me. I want to stop here for a second and say the minute he said, as these months go by, I was not a happy camper. <laughs> like everyone else, I was expecting um, a rapture to happen maybe this this Easter. On the other hand, while I was editing this just now, it occurred to me that most could refer to us seeing it from heaven as the great cloud of witnesses. So... That still doesn't pin the rapture down, really. Okay, moving on. He began, all right. So Yellowstone was just one instance of my mercy at work. The prayers of the Christian people have mitigated much that Satan wanted to do to completely annihilate the earth. Not only that, but they have had an effect on those who are going to be taken and saved. Silence is deadly right now. It is time to shout out from the rooftops. Your king is coming. Your king is coming. By the time planet X becomes visible, it will be too late for mankind to do anything about it. By the time planet X becomes visible, it will be too late for mankind to do anything about it. They will be at the complete mercy of happenstance. I looked that word up. Something that happens by chance. And of course, my mercy, which most will not engage. Those who shall survive in the rocks, crevices, and ravines, I will supernaturally protect and provide for. Their spiritual growth will blossom exponentially because all that they do will be reliant on my provision. There will be multiplication of food, healings, water, and all manner of protection for those who turn completely to me. By the time I come and it's over, they will be truly purified like gold and shining silver in my kingdom as saints. I have chosen them for this hour, and most have a premonition that something much bigger than their lives has been coming for them. Some have prepared. Others are just waiting circumstances. Most are not yet Christians. They do not know me although they have heard my voice in their hearts. The legalism of churches has kept them from me, along with their fondness for freedom from laws and rules. But all that will change when I come for you. 
There will be searing conviction amongst the relatives and especially the children and spouses of those I take. It will go deep, deep into the depths of their hearts and divide bone and marrow. Then, as the purification of earth advances, more and more will have a passionate love for me and righteousness. It will blossom and overtake them on the way. Many will cease to care about living and be ready to die to be with me. They will be envious of those who have been raptured, but not for the common motive of escaping suffering, but for the burning fire of love they feel for me. Yet they will persevere in what is laid out before them. The more my children rely on me during this time, the more miracles they will see. The more they rely on their own flesh, the more in danger they will be. I operate best with total faith. It causes a vacuum that only I can fill, whereas providing for themselves will weaken my ability to intervene. More and more they are going to rely on me. More and more things will become more desperate and they will have little choice. The sooner they come to terms with that, the better it will go for them. I will not give them over to defeat. I will be with them as I was with David when he fought Goliath. As they pour over the Old Testament, they will find example after example of battles where my people were outnumbered ten to one, and yet my right arm won them victory. And as they confide their trust in me, I will bring it to pass. There will be traitors among them. They must learn to know one another by the Spirit. Many will attempt to join their ranks. But I warn them now, do not accept anyone I do not approve, no matter how dire or urgently they present their request. You see, they will use good will against them to pry open the group. Then, because they are not of like mind, they will undermine everything that they do. Do not allow anyone into your ranks that I have not approved of. Use the system of lots and pray to the Holy Spirit to choose. Put your confidence in your flesh completely to death. Put your confidence in me totally. I alone know the hearts and motives of men and women and even children. The devil is underhanded and he will use your goodness against you. Rely on me and not your own human reasoning. There will be times when you look at each other and say, We're going to die. And yet because you put your hope and trust in me, I will move on your behalf and rescue you. I will make you invisible to the enemy and fearful to the beasts that will be bent on destroying you. Remember always to use my name. There will be times when the enemy is combing the forest looking for you, and they will walk right over you and not even know it. I will make you invisible to them. There will be times when I will cause panic in the ranks of the enemy and completely turn them off your trail. I have many ways, my children, of saving you. Many, many ways. There will even be times when the ground will open up to hide you. Never give up. Trust in me and my love for you, for I will be with you. The power of the blood, plead my blood, the blood of Jesus, cover and protect us, make us invisible to the enemy. As an aside, I sense here he's talking about the heat-sensitive drones seeking you out, um, you know, calling upon the blood to cover you and protect you so that you aren't seen. I wanted to share with you, I remember when my oldest son had to have emergency surgery and he was six months old. His small intestine had telescoped into the large intestine and he wasn't able to eat or drink anything without violent vomiting. While he was in surgery, I was praying and I saw a red demon hovering over his little body and I heard raging infection. And so I pleaded the blood of Jesus over his little body and try as he might, that demon could not enter the body. It kept hitting a clear polymer-type shield and bouncing off. 
Thank the Lord, the operation was a success with no complications of infection. The blood is powerful. Use it. The Lord continues, Those who are well equipped and prepared will have no advantage over those who have put their total trust in me. This is one reason why I have not allowed you, Claire, to lay up for the future. I will provide everything necessarily. necessary. Only listen very carefully from my voice. There will be times when I will prompt you to do something that seems out of order, but it will be your salvation. Prayer will be your weapon, a weapon that no one and nothing can defeat. Pray in tongues. Much wisdom will infuse your minds and bypass your intellects, which have been trained in the thoughts of the world. My ways are not your ways. My ways are not the world's ways. Prayer will be your greatest weapon. Pray and listen very carefully. Expect me to instruct you, to give you visions and answers and understanding. Expect it and learn to discern it early. The sooner you embrace this wisdom, the safer you will be. I will lead you and teach you the way you should go. Use the Bible for Ramas. That's the anointed word of God. Listen for scriptures that float into your mind. I will be speaking to you in so many ways. Even songs will come into your mind to warn you or advise you. Only be alert and pay attention. Do not allow anything to escape your notice. I will send you signs and images to alert you of danger ahead. My children, I love you dearly, and if I could have taken you with your loved ones, I would have. But for your own reasons, you resisted me. Now you must learn to open your hearts and minds to receive me without resistance, without doubt, in total trust. When it seems that nothing is going to work, say, Jesus, I trust in you. Say it over and over and over again and visualize me as you say it to me. So it fills your inner man with confidence that I will act and spurs me on to act because of your faith in me. Remember, when you have no other recourse, you have me. Remember also that You with the Father, myself, and the Holy Spirit are greater than any force on earth. You and I are a majority. There will be times when you see angels protecting you. I will open your eyes. Believe. And that's the end of his message. Thank you for listening, YouTube family. And I would ask you, please download this video and and keep it for your children and your loved ones. Um, This whole series is designed for those who are left behind. I know that it's satisfying a lot of curiosity and questions that we've all had, but more important than that, it's for those who are left behind and have been resisting the Lord all this time. It's like the fast track, you know, it's an initiation into the Lord's ways quickly. Although your families have had a chance to see you operate in the Spirit and they, they're they well acquainted with what you do in different situations, still they're going to need a lot of confidence and a lot of trust. And I really believe these videos are going to help them. So please consider downloading them. It's very easy to do. Um, all you have to do is find a clip grab on the internet. It's a free program and download that. And then you can download these and make them into MP3s or MP4s if you want. So the Lord bless and keep you and pray for us as we pray for you.